for coming. This is the release of the city manager's proposed 2010, uh, 2011 city budget for the city of New Rochelle. Uh, just some process things first. Uh, this was, has been provided to the, the mayor and the city council. They will have a uh, series of budget meetings to review uh, this information and uh, they can revise and uh, change it as they see fit. They have until the end of the year to adopt uh, the budget for next year. Um, the first special meeting uh, will be next Tuesday at 5 o'clock, at which point uh, the Finance Commissioner and myself will uh, uh, make a budget presentation. Uh, be a little more in-depth than what we're going to have today, but certainly will be similar. Followed by presentations by the Police Commissioner and the Fire Commissioner on their budgets. Uh, on uh, Wednesday of next week uh, will be the second meeting, also at 5 o'clock. Uh, that will include the Public Works uh, Director, the Development Department, and uh, a re recap of the smaller departments in the city. Uh, and then on the 30th of November will be another special meeting, which would uh, encompass uh, additional discussion and City Council uh, questions and answers. Uh, the public hearing on the budget will be held on December 7th at 7.30. And uh, if there's additional discussion and uh, re revision to the budget after that, there's another meeting on the 14th, uh, which it is possible but not definite that they would uh, adopt the budget at that time. As far as this uh, document is concerned, uh, this uh, is a continuation of what the city has actually been uh, faced with, along with other municipalities over the last three years, a significant economic downturn, a sharp reduction in our revenues, uh, and uh, large reductions to the uh, product that we deliver to the residents of New Rochelle. The highlights of this budget are that it includes uh, no layoffs at the current time. It continues a uh, hiring freeze that has been in place here since December of two, I'm sorry, August of 2008, at which time we have lost uh, about 57 positions, or 9% of the city workforce. Uh, the budget calls for a property tax levy increase, a levy increase of less than 1%. Uh, that, I'll have Howard explain that for you all, but that, uh, by the way, is the number that the county used yesterday in their budget when they said there's a reduction in the levy. That is not the tax rate that the county is talking about. Uh, it is, if you read through their press release, you'll see the rate will not will be different and ha can't be determined at this time. The county has different rates depending on the municipality you're in. But there will likely be an increase in their property tax rate. Uh, our property tax rate will be increasing by 3.9% uh, as a result of this budget. Uh, and uh, if you take a look at the total tax bill for a city resident, which includes the county budget, the city budget, and the school budget, this 3.9% actually equates to about a 1% tax increase on their entire budget. Uh, as for the average homeowner in New Rochelle, their taxes would probably go up about $113 a year as a result of this. We faced uh, several major problems in developing this budget. One is the continuing uh, reduction in the property tax base assessment roll. As a result of that, the 3.9% increase in the rate will generate no new revenue for the city. That's what we have to raise just to stay even uh, from last year due to the decline in the assessment roll. Additionally, we were faced with a $2.5 million, a little less than that, I guess it's $2.3 million increase in our retirement cost, which we have no control over. The state uh, controller's office sets that rate. Uh, that in and of itself uh, relates to about a 5%, 4.5% tax increase, just that number alone. Uh, so between the drop in the assessment roll and the retirement costs, we were faced with significant problems right from the start and had to make significant cuts in the budget. Uh, I'll give you the major cuts as they, go, as they, as they uh, are included and then tell you what the impacts are going to be. We will eliminate 26 additional positions in 2011. Uh, that brings us to the 57 number I told you before, but there will be 26 new positions also eliminated in the budget. 
uh, we will be uh, reducing the operating hours of Hudson Park Beach from seven days a week during the summer to five days a week. We closed on Monday and Tuesdays. We will have a uh, reduction in uh, our ability to uh, maintain manning levels in the fire department. There will be times when our minimum manning will be uh, reduced uh, because we've redu reduced the overtime expenditure for the fire department in the budget. There are six fire positions that are funded for just six months. We are in the process of uh, uh, applying for and hoping to obtain a grant that they call a SAFER grant, which is a federal grant. If we are able to get that grant, and we should know that in the first half of the year, we will be able to save those positions. If uh, we do not get the grant, the city will have to either eliminate those positions or find alternative funding to continue them throughout the rest of the year. But as of January, those positions will remain in effect. You'll remember, those of you that were around, these are the six positions that uh, were the subject of uh, possible layoff last year. We reached an agreement with the fire union to defer their 2010 increase, which they did until they retired. However, the the value of that increase goes into their base salary in 2011, and the saving <coughs> grant money was the way to pay for that increase, and we need to get that. Um, those are the major cuts. I want to go into uh, what the impacts will be on our services, and then I'll have Howard address that question um, between uh, the, re the levy and the, um, and the tax rate. I would say that even though we're making the cuts that I talked about, um, <coughs> the stress of this budget is to preserve our core services, police patrol, fire response, and basic public works, uh, basic public works functions that we provide to our residents. Um, as for impacts in the police, the decrease in sworn personnel is now down from uh, 189 in 2008 to 173 in 2011. Uh, the result will be it will suspend community programs such as the Explorers program, the GREAT program, which is a gang resistance program. It will reduce non-street patrol assignments and seriously jeopardize the community policing philosophy that we've had in place here since 1993. We will be focusing on patrol and having police officers on the street and in the patrol cars. Additionally, in police, we're losing seven community service officers. Those are the folks that uh, right to parking tickets and other violations. Uh, that has curtailed enforcement, traffic control, and non-sworn activities and actually has an impact on the revenue that we collect because the fewer uh, CSOs we have, the fewer violations that are issued. In the fire department, over the past three years, we have a decrease of 12 positions. This is all, by the way, in the, in the message that we gave you, so you don't have to go crazy writing notes. That's required us to reduce uh, minimum manning on the fire apparatus on, uh, on the occasions when we don't have regular folks in to reach the manning levels. We virtually eliminated the rescue company, which is part of our fire service. It uh, will uh, compromise the fire department's ability to cover all parts of the city at any given time and reduced our fire prevention efforts. And as I mentioned, the loss of six firefighters mid-year is possible if the safer grants are not uh, acquired. In DPW, we'll be losing, we have lost 12 positions over the last three years. Uh, that's coupled with a decreased funding for outside contract services. Sidewalk cleaning will be less, uh, uh, will be done fewer times. Pothole repairs will take longer to uh, get done. Building and vehicle maintenance will be uh, curtailed. Storm drain clearance, which is a major issue in flooding, uh, that will be reduced. Lake and pond maintenance and tree pruning and removals will also be uh, reduced. Um, parks and recreation, as I told you, we will be closing <coughs> some Park Beach two days a week. So that will be down from seven days a week until five days a week, only five days a week. Uh, and I will point out uh, that um, the capital budget for the city, which is the provision of infrastructure and equipment. Uh, normal years we have a $2 million general fund taxpayer contribution to the capital budget. Uh, we will have zero this year 
there will be a bonded capital budget. Either be our capital program will be paid for either through grants or a million dollar bond that we'll be issuing for the purchase of pickup trucks and other things, trucks that are uh, between uh, 10 and 20 years old and need to be replaced in our fleet. Uh, we will maintain a fund balance of about $2.6 million at the end of the year. Uh, standard uh, governmental practice is for the minimum to be at 5% of your total budget. Uh, we will be below that uh, because of the problems we face. And I just want to talk about total spending. Um, if you look at the first page of the budget message, uh, the first bullet, uh, you should focus really on the, uh, the bolded number. There's an actual decrease in the total budget of over $12 million, but a significant portion of that is a one-time grant that we got from the county for the city park program that's being done down at City Park, and that won't be coming in in 2011. All came to us in 2010. But in the operating fund, which is our basic operating fund, our uh, expenses, despite the retirement boost and all the other things that we faced, we are cutting uh, spending by uh, one close to $1.4 million. Uh, and that continues a three-year trend of reduced spending. I believe we're down over $3 million in spending actual spending over the last three years. And all of that, the majority of that uh, has been made up uh, in the point of uh, reduced personnel. But Howard points out that uh, the savings from eliminating 57 positions over the last two and a half years is uh, almost $9 million in our budget. Uh, and we've saved other program savings in this budget, 300000 in police cars not purchased. Sidewalk cleaning is a $205,000 savings saving 30000 at Hudson Park, and various other items that uh, give us almost uh, $10 million in, in budget reductions from 2009 to 2011. Um, as I said at the beginning, the, um, there is a difference between the tax levy and the tax rate. I'd ask the Finance Commissioner to just take a minute to explain that to you, because uh, I'd like to point out that the two numbers we're putting forward today is a 3.9% tax rate increase, but the tax levy increase is less than 1%. Howard, do you want to review that, please? Yeah, just let me explain a little bit about how that works for those people who may not be familiar with it. The tax levy uh, is simply the amount of taxes that a municipality needs to provide the services uh, required under the budget. The tax levy is after considering all other revenues, such as sales taxes, building permits, etc. So that's the that's the revenues that the city needs to operate. The tax rate is uh, simply a function of the property taxes needed divided by the total assessed valuation. So you get a tax rate for each uh, uh, property within the city, or within the county, or within any mus municipality. As the, as the assessed valuation goes down, the tax rate goes up simply to meet the, uh, the amount of levy that you're required to uh, raise, or the amount of property taxes that you're required to raise during the year. So a diminishing assessed valuation results in higher tax rates for anybody else. So for instance, in our budget, if we had no assessment grievances during the year, our property tax rate, our proposed property tax rate increase for 2011 would be zero. But because we had a decrease in the uh, assessed valuation, you need to increase the tax rate by 3.9% simply to raise the same amount of revenues that you received in the, uh, in the prior year. So for instance, when the county says that the, that the tax levy will be less than, uh, less than the prior year, that's the levy. The actual rate, because valuation throughout the county has gone down due to the uh, home mortgage crisis and the drop in housing prices since 2007, tax rates will go mm -hmm. up countywide, uh, depending on the municipality, probably between 3 and 6%.